Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing one of my most requested video ever. I get this as the most requested video every single year and it is my handbag bag collection. <music> I'm not going to talk too much about each one because I have way too many. I didn't realize I had so many until I had to pull them all out and put them on my bed. So here we go. The first one is going to be my Fendi. This is the Fendi Mama. I think it's still called the baguette. I don't know, but it's a Fendi Mama bag. I love it. It's in the Zuska, Zuka, something like that print. Um, I got it off of Fashion File. I love it. I've wanted this one for years. I've wanted this one since I watched Sex and the City back when it was still on TV. And Carrie had a ton of different Fendi bags and I always wanted this one like specifically. So I got this one this year and I love it. I have only used it one time <laughs> and that was whenever we took our trip to Alabama. But I mean, I'll use it again. I don't care. I've always wanted this. I will use it and it is like a major classic. So I'm definitely gonna keep it forever. But this is what it looks like. It's a really nice size and inside it's just, you know, one got one zip pocket, but it it's really nice. I really like this one. The next one, I'm just gonna show you these two together, is or are my Balenciaga bags. These are the only two Balenciagas that I have, and I have it in the ultraviolet and in the mang. In my opinion, I was just telling my husband, these are the like the two most perfect colors ever. So if I had to describe my favorite color besides black, it would be purple and mustard. And this is by far the most perfect mustard I've ever seen. Um, this one was from Fashion File and it's just perfect. It came, I don't remember what the condition was, but it's pretty much brand new. And I think that it actually had the plastic strip to pull off on the inside little thing on the zipper. Oh, but I love it smells amazing um this one is in the ultraviolet and it is the most perfect purple ever and this one i got from my friend jen and it was pretty much in brand new condition too it also had all the stickers on it and oh, i just love them this one this one smells the best and um these are both the classic cities so that means that they've got these long tassels on them and they have one strap which goes really well on your shoulder when it's empty it doesn't sit well but when you have it full oh my gosh they are so comfortable and they're slouchy and amazing they don't have any structure whatsoever um but yes if you have a speedy 30 samorga organizer it fits in these perfect and it actually gives it like really good like a really good look um i've never worn it like that but i've tried it and it does work amazing so those are my two balenciaga bags the next one is going to be Alexander Wang. This is my Alexander Wang Rocky, and this one is in the rose gold, so it's got the rose gold hardware on it. Yes, I did own one before. If you watched any of my earlier videos, I had it in the matte black, and I sold it because I didn't really use it, but I missed it, and I'm so glad I got another one. I'm so glad I got this one in the rose gold. I didn't know that I would love it as much as I do, but I've used this one way more than I used my other one. Um, it is a heavy bag, but it's perfect. It forces me to carry less, but it still can carry so much if I need to. So I really, really like it. Um, this one compared to my other one, this one, the leather on it, the little, like this stuff, I don't know what that would be called, but it's smaller than my other one was. So I think, I don't know, I think that's part of the reason I like the look of this one better, but it also feels different. The other one had, this one's really, really thick leather, but the other one was, thicker so it was going it wasn't going to ever like slouch whereas this one I don't know I can't explain it, it feels different um, I got this one from Nordstrom as well they do still have it I think I'm not sure but it was definitely worth it and that I love it okay before we before we move on to Louis Vuitton this is my last non Louis Vuitton bag and this one is the Proenza Schooler PS1 in the medium size <sighs> I love this bag oh my gosh um, it I can't explain it but it's pretty much like 
the pochette Matisse except slightly bigger. If you wanted it to be the same size, they do have a tiny one, which is not that much smaller than this one, but it's the same size as the pochette Matisse. But these are made out of all leather, and these were around a lot longer. These have been out for a really long time now. Um, they've got a pocket on the back, and then inside they also have um, a lot of space. I usually wear it down like this. It's got this really nice hardware that you have to push down and then pop it up. So there's another zipper, a pocket, and then inside is just one more zip pocket. But ah, I love this thing, and it's super comfortable. Mine, um, I don't use it with the regular Prone to Schooler strap because, I don't know, I didn't like it that much. So I have this strap that I bought from um, Rough and Tumble. I think it was only $88, it was $88 when I got it. I'm not sure if it's still the same price, but it is the pretty much the same hardware. I think it looks like the same hardware. They do have different things to pick from. Um, they have all different colors, but I just wanted it to match. So yeah, so oh, here it just, ah. so I just want the same thing. And I don't know, I really, really love this. Um, I love that this is big enough, unlike the Pichette Matisse where I can stick it under my arm and I carry it like that most of the time. But it's also very comfortable over your shoulder and then with this strap you can wear it crossbody. The strap that it comes with, you can wear it crossbody, but it's like a higher crossbody and I don't think it's that comfortable. So yeah, so I just stick with that one. This one was also purchased from Nordstrom. They price matched, I think, with Saks, which if you didn't know that they would do that, they will. If you can show that online somewhere else is cheaper, they will price match. And so that is what I did with this. And yes, it's brand new and I love it. But you can also buy these. Oh my gosh, they don't resell for much at all. So if you are wanting one but you want to pay full price, look on Fashion File because they have a ton. Okay. <sighs> Mustard, of course. Okay, so moving on, let's go to Louis Vuitton. So the first one is going to be my delightful PM. This is like the biggest PM ever. <laughs> um, but mine is with the P-Bone interior, which is just like a really dark pink. I'm not into baby pink, but I do love dark pink. And this pink is just beautiful. Um, I wear mine with this pretty tassel thing that I get so many questions on. Um, I got this one from TJ Maxx for like $4 and it matches absolutely perfect. Um, I also keep this tag on it and this one is one that I got from my friend Lisa. She has a YouTube channel. I'll um, link her down below but she got oops my initials or just the T on it for my name. And then on the back she lives in New York so she got me the Soho tag. Um, this also has this little key thing here which I uh, clip my keys to. But yeah, I don't use this very often but when I do I re-fall in love with it. So I got that one because it reminded me of the um, Never Full, which I'm going to show you next, but I was going to show you the difference that this is a new new version, which they don't make this anymore, but it was a new version before it was discontinued. So it just has the stripes inside. And the next one is my Never Full, which I'm going to show you is the original. And it had the little flowers and stuff with the original like writing inside there. So mine is the Neverfull MM, and this is the original one that did not come with the little pouch. So I did buy one separate. That's what this one is. This is just the regular pouch that would come with it now. Um, this is they're the same size if you buy the MM and the GM, but if you buy the PM, it is smaller. Um, but mine is with the cherry interior because I couldn't find the pea bone interior until of course after I bought this one and then it became available but I didn't need to so anyway um I've had this one oh my gosh for so long and mine has held up so well I love it to be honest whenever I wear it I tuck my sides in like this I tuck mine in it doesn't even end up looking like this if you've ever carried one, it normally ends up popping out like that, but I don't know. I like the way it looks whenever I carry it like that. Um, it's super dark. The patina on this one is, oops, see if I can get that, is really dark because, I mean, I use this one all the time. Um, I used to take it to the beach and everything, so it's definitely been exposed to a lot of stuff. Um, and I do keep a luggage tag on it, and this is just one of the small ones, and I put TIF on it because that's what I put on my luggage tags and stuff. And I also put a T 
on there. Now the reason I only went with one letter is because I noticed if you get more than one um, on the Neverfull specifically, it makes it look crooked even though it's not, but that's just because of how the handles are attached. Let's see. And I get asked a ton what the side of mine looks like. And this is what it looks like. This is how mine meets up. And then on the other side, here we go. This is what mine looks like. Um, I would say they can't truly be absolutely perfect. Like this up here would bug people. But you have to think, this is not a square. This is going up like this. It's not always going to be perfect, but if you will notice, if you see fakes online, a lot of them match up perfect, and sometimes that's how you can tell that things are fake, is because the original ones really don't. I've, I don't know if I've ever seen one that lines up perfectly, and this is back when their quality was freaking amazing. So, okay, moving on. This one is like the Neverfull, but this is the Iana. This is the Iana MM, and they do not make this anymore. They quickly discontinued this, and I am honestly wondering if it's because of the issue with the zipper. And I think it's this one up here, but if I, and I always carry mine open, where the handle rubs on the zipper, so I've put clear polish on it to keep it from falling apart. But I love this. This was a present for my husband. We went to the store, to the Louis Vuitton um, in the Domain in Austin, Texas, and he surprised me and bought it for me. So. I love it even more because it's from him, but I had wanted it forever and it's just like, has the best zipper. <sighs> love it. But um, it's discontinued in the monogram. They do still have it in the Damier Ben and the Damier Azur in the PM and the MM. So if you're looking for one, it's amazing. Um, I did have a Cabas Piano, which is the size of the MM. I mean, the size of the PM. But if, and if you've had, if you tried that one years ago, um, it's the same size, but these are better because they're more, they're smushy, whereas the Cabas Piano was really hard and you couldn't hold anything and if you carried it, it bashed the back of your arm and like, I don't know, it used to give me like a bruise back there. So these are amazing and they're squishy and just, I love it. And the interior of the monogram one is like a, like a raisin color in my opinion. It's like a purpley raisin color. I love it. I think that it's... It's beautiful. I love it. I need to use it again. It's just so beautiful. Okay, I am almost finished, I promise. The next one is going to be my Petite No Way. Um, they do still make this. Seems very hard to find lately. Uh, but I love it. Back in the day, I bought this in the vintage. And that means it didn't have this. It just had the um, leather on the bottom. It's, it's still had on the side, but it just had the piece on the bottom. It didn't have this one. Uh, they changed to this one so that it looks like the GM, which is the classic one that was created to hold the wine bottles, but um, wine or champagne, I don't know. I don't drink either one, but it was made for those, but this is the, the um, petite one. I have three straps that go on it. I have the original one, which is just like a shoulder strap. I have the Matisse hobo strap, which is a short one that I can put on the crook of my arm, and it also goes on my shoulder. And then I've got the No Way BB strap, and that's the one that you can wear crossbody. I get asked all the time where you can get those. The only place you can honestly get them and pay something decent is if you get it from Louis Vuitton. You can't find it online, you have to call them, or you have to go in the store, and it's a spare part. The problem is you can't, they won't always give you one unless you actually own the bag, and that... So it's kind of it's gonna kind of be hit and miss, but for the Matisse Hobo strap, it cost me eighty dollars. I heard that it's gone up to a hundred. Um, the Noe BB strap cost me two eighty, I believe. And if the Matisse Hobo went up, I'm pretty sure the Noe BB strap went up too. But I'm honestly glad that I bought them all. I love that I can wear this all different ways. This one was caught in a hailstorm in Colorado. We went to the Renaissance Fest, and I was wearing it crossbody with the Noe BB strap, and it hailed on us, and this thing got soaked. I mean soaked. How the inside didn't get wet, I don't know, but the rest of this thing was soaked and I have to say it's still perfect. I mean, <laughs> this looks the same as before it got soaked. Like, look at that. Yes, there are some spots, but I don't care. I think if you're going to get a bag, freaking use it. Like, who cares? Um, and then this is something that always happens. This was the same as my vintage, so this isn't something new and this isn't a problem. But one side will be completely smooth and then the other side 
does get wrinkled. I don't know if this is showing up, but this is a side that's wrinkled and this was like this on my vintage one. This is like this on my new one and it just it is what it is. I don't think that it's a problem. It's just how they are. Like you can't really change it. Um, but an invite an advice for you guys. A lot of people like the look of the, the look of the vintage and I really did too and I loved how it sat on my body and I contemplated just getting all the vaquetta replaced. You can do that. So you can get every piece of vaquetta replaced on this bag. So if you want to get a cheaper one that has an interior that looks really nice, you can send it to Louis Vuitton and pay to replace all the leather. It's gonna cost you like about eight hundred dollars, but I think overall you'll get the look that you want and pretty much have a new bag. So that's my thought. Okay, this here. All right, the speedies. I now have four. Um, in my time of speedies, I think I've had a total of five because I used to have a classic speedy 30, but let me show you. Um, these are what I have now. This was my very first Louis Vuitton piece. I say this every time. I love looking at this one. This is my favorite patina. Yes, I know. It is dark. So I know that that's not just patina. That's my dirt. I've said it before, it's my dirt, so I don't care. I wouldn't buy it pre-loved like that because that means that's someone else's dirt. But literally, I got this in high school and I used it all the time. I spilled super glue on it when I tried to fix a string one time when I was drinking. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And still, like, there's a piece of the brass, what, gold color, whatever you want to call this, chipped right there. I don't care. I love it. Oh, here's where I spilled some super glue too. There's some right there. That's all super glue. I don't have this one hot stamped because they don't advise you to hot stamp like really patina and stuff because it can come off. Sometimes it doesn't, but it can. And so I just wouldn't, I don't want to even chance messing this one up. But this one has the original like flap tag. It's oxidized a lot, especially when we lived in uh, Florida. So it's got the green oxidation stuff on it. It is what it is. Um, but it's got, you know, the raw on this side. Well, that's what I call it because it's not treated. But then the other side is completely raw. Like, it looks like that. And that's what my classic Speedy 30 used to look like, too. And oh, this one smells so good. Just, I don't know, it still smells like Louis Vuitton. Like, really classic pieces smell a certain way that the new ones just don't smell like anymore. So, I oh, love that one. That one's from 2004. Um, the next one is my Speedy Bandolier. Oh, that was in size 25. This one is in the size 30. This is my Speedy B30. It's full right now of stuff from moving because we're still renting. Our house is not finished yet. So I've got a ton of stuff in here. And that just kind of keeps it stuffed. But this is my Speedy Bandolier. I love it. I used this one a ton. I haven't used it in a very long time though. Um, but the way I use things, it just comes and goes for what I like and don't like, but I always come back to certain things. That's kind of how I think about it. It's like I used to use my Neverfull all the time. I mean, all the time. And now I haven't used it, honestly, in like, I think a few years, but there will be a time I go back to it and I want to use it. So I would never get rid of it. And this is just one that I will keep forever. I've traveled with this. I've done a ton of stuff with this. I remember I took it to Utah. I went hiking with it on. I hiked actually around Colorado in the mountains with it, so it's been everywhere. Yes, I take my purses hiking because they're meant to be used, and that's what I do with them. The next one is going to be, this was definitely a unicorn for me. This is my Mon Monogram. This came out right after I bought my Neverfull, and I remember I bought my Neverfull, and I got it in as I saw that these came out, and I remember like, oh my god, you can paint them, because that's what I thought it was, and I remember calling them and being like, can I send it back for you to paint it, and they were like, no. But anyway, this is my Mon Monogram, I got this one this year, 2018, and I can't remember the colors, it's, I know the interior is, is violet, this is supposed to be violet, even though, yes, it looks blue, and then the outside, I think it's called Blue Claire, but it's beautiful. I absolutely love it and it just goes all the way around and it's getting a beautiful patina and then I keep my luggage tag on it that's just a Dallas luggage tag and then on the back it's T heart D because Tiffany loves my husband's name is Dallas so this works on two different levels I'm not from Dallas I'm from Austin but my husband's name is Dallas so I actually like having that on there better um, this one is the only speedy I have that has the treated 
um, tag so it doesn't have a raw side. I don't care what they say, they are definitely treated, I can feel it. Um, I originally thought that the handles were treated, but they're not. And I can tell from using it, and I can tell from the patina that they're not, but I can tell you 100% that pull tab is. Um, interior of this is violet, and it's beautiful. And depending on the color, or the light, the interior will look purple. So if you are wanting a purple, I mean violet is purple, but it definitely has a blue base. But the interior in different colors will look purple. The outside, honestly, it never will. But it just doesn't. Okay. Oh, and also, I was going to mention this too. This lock is still really shiny. My vintage is very dull, which of course you have to, you'd have to like clean it. Um, but this one says made in France. This is made in France, but the back does not say it anymore. And then this one is not really tarnished somehow. And this one doesn't say made in France. Sorry, I get asked about the lock, so I just want to share that with you guys. The best lock that I have though is the one on my um, Iena because it is the shiniest lock ever. Um, okay, my last Speedy is the biggest ever unicorn and that is my Multicolor Speedy 30. This one's from Fashion File. I did have one before, so if you've seen me with one before, yes I had one but it had white on the front. That was my fault for jumping in. I definitely should have waited until I found the perfect one because when I was talking about it for years, I remember saying I wanted a purple Balenciaga and I wanted a mustard Balenciaga and I wanted a class, or I wanted a multicolor Speedy 30 with purple in the front. Well, I didn't get that. I just jumped in with a different one instead of waiting. And But I got one and it's purple. And it was definitely really hard to find because every time we have purple in the front or like I was even willing to go for this blue because this is beautiful and it makes the bag darker but anytime it had the blues across the front or had the purples it was in terrible condition or it was in amazing condition but they wanted close to what retail was and they don't make this anymore but if you know before they finished selling them I think that retail was like three thousand dollars <laughs> so no so this one's from fashion file um I think it was an excellent or very good but either way it came to me an excellent and I love it of course, it's made in France. I don't know if all of these are, but this one is, and so was my last one. But I love it. Whenever I, I um, did the tag, me as a bag or something like that, this is it because it's just, it's just me. I can't explain it. Black, I always say I have a black soul. That's what I always tell my husband. And But the colors are just colorful because I'm not... I don't know, I can't explain it. And then the studs are because like my rocker side, I don't know. He said that this is something I should never ever get, ever get rid of and I never will. And this one is just amazing. Um, the handles to these are thicker than the handles to these. So uh, I think I did a video on it, I don't remember, but the handles to the multicolor, yes, they are bigger than the handles to the regular ones. So if you get one, it's not fake because they're thicker. That's just how they were, that's how they were made. It, that's just how they are. Okay, and my last one and my newest one is my Louis Vuitton Clapton backpack. And this is my only actual like bag that is in Damier Ben. I do have um, a mini pochette in Damier Ben, but I don't count that because it's just, it's a SLG. But this is my actual only big bag in, in Damier Ben. I wish the interior was red. But then you'd be able to see it right here and then, you know, whatever. But I love this one. This is in the cream. They also have it in a pink. It's not Rose Ballerine because I actually liked it and I don't like Rose Ballerine. It was in this like, I want to almost say it was like a Pepto pink, but not because it wasn't quite as bright, but it was a little bit deeper. I really liked that too. So you can't go wrong with either one. Um, I did a first impressions of this. And I showed you different ways to wear it and I really, really like it. Um, I haven't taken this off yet. I might soon. It was a bitch to tie, let me tell you that. But um, I normally wear it just on my shoulder or crossbody. Right now, because it, it has, let's see, seven holes up here and then it's got three further down here. So these are more like shoulder, this is crossbody. And I wore it crossbody today, but I normally wear it on my shoulder. Um, I also took this to my daughter Cambria's fourth birthday party in this big old play place where you jump on trampolines and stuff like that and I wore it as a backpack 
where I crisscrossed it. And I put a picture of that on Instagram. So that was super comfortable and that keeps it from slipping down your shoulders. Um, you can also wear it where it's attached to the top here and then over here. If you want to wear it crossbody and keep it in the back on your hip where you don't want it up front. Because whenever I wear it crossbody, sometimes I don't care like where it goes, but there are times where I just, like I was, me and my girls were at Target and we were just like looking for stuff and I didn't need to get in it and all this other stuff and it was just driving me crazy. So I changed the way that I was wearing it to where it's not sitting like a backpack, but it's sitting on my like butt, but like above my butt. And I, that's how I did it. I did it here to here and then I put it crossbody and it stayed. So yeah, it is comfortable every single way. I'm so glad that I got it. This is super, super expensive to me. I have never spent this much before, but I felt like I deserved it. And it was really fun. It was our treat yourself day, but this one's cool. It's got this push lock and it's packed because I've been using it. So and it smells good because it's got all my junk in it. But, and I did, okay. So for all you people afraid to get stuff on your bags, I already did this. Let's see if you can see. Can you see that right there? Yeah, that is my buxom lip gloss. Somehow got it on my fingers, touched on my bag. And to be honest, I cannot believe I was just like, whatever, like I didn't care. And it's not because I can afford this stuff because I can't just go out and keep buying these, but it's because I love it and I love marks on them just showing that they're used. So, I don't know, I love it. Love it, love it. This one was great. And I definitely recommend it. I mainly wear it, let me move that out of the way. Mainly wear it with this sticking out, but you can also, when I wore it as a backpack, I think I had it closed, I can't remember, but you can also close it like this. You also also take the strap off and just use it as a top handle. Your arm doesn't fit in it. Like it can, but like who would wear it like that? It's not comfortable at all, but. Yep, I love this. All right, there you go. That is it. That's all my bags. That is probably way too much now. Like I'm looking at all of it and thinking I have way too many. I definitely don't need any more, but I love them all. I don't think I could part with any of them and not regret it. Like I regretted parting with my Rocky and I love them all. When I use them, there's not one that I use that I can't stand. I love them all. So yeah, if you do have any questions or comments about any of them, just leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Um, if you have any video requests or anything, just let me know as well. Um, I did get asked to do like a daily routine and I don't want to do it here. We are renting and this place is small and terrible and everything is cramped. But when we move into our new house, I will have so much more space and I promise I will do something better then. But yeah, if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.